In this tutorial I will show you how to create a basketball basket in the Hammer World Editor which is used to create custom maps for games that utilize the source engine. These baskets are very common on jailbreak maps, but you may include them on your custom map as an easter egg or something. Most jailbreak maps use these kind of baskets, which are very obsolete in my opinion. This example is found on my very own jailbreak map and it uses this button to open a sliding door which lets the C4 or whatever is in a basket drop down. As I mentioned, it's outdated and I only recommend building this kind of baskets when you're a beginner. Just like me when I built this map. For this tutorial, I've built a small map in which I want to show you a more advanced basket which uses sound to indicate if the C4 went through the loop instead of having a sliding door which only hurts the game flow. Also, it looks way more realistic than the blocky shape of the old basket. It works with the C4 and with any other weapon as well. Alright, now we find ourselves in the Hammer World Editor. This is just how like the basket looks like in the editor. It consists of the in-game prop, which is um, with the hoop and the wooden, wooden plank behind it. It consists of three entities. A funk break breakable entity which is inside the hoop, a ambient generic entity and a point template entity. First of all you have to make your own basket uh, in-game model like this one I have right here. Uh, I'll show you quickly how to do it. First of all you have to pick um, the block entity, just like this, then you will have to drag a um, nice part right here. So I'll choose it like this, press enter and there you have it. Um, I just fix the texture like this. And now we have to make the hoop. You choose once again the block tool and this time you go here, pick arc, you have to do an arc, like this, then you make another uh, block, the same is it has to be a square, that's very important, so I choose 40 times 40 square, and it's a bit big, I think it's too big, let's do a 32 square like this you press enter and then this uh, will pop up this is basically how you want the arc to look like um, you have to choose a wall width of 2 if you click preview you will see why because the hoop has to be like open in the middle so the C4 can drop through it and the number of size I recommend is 10 because then it's it will look like a nice circle. Everything else you leave just like this. And then you'll have it. Your hoop, which is a bit deformed, so you have to adjust it in the editor. Just like this. Let's see if it's in the middle, alright. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit thin. Let's do it like this. Alright, there you have it. Your very own basketball hoop. Alright, let's continue with the entities. Now that you have your proper in-game model, we have to create three entities to make the basket work. For the first entity, you will choose the block tool once more. Just like this. And then you want to create another circle inside your first circle. Go to the texture, browse, and then type in filter invisible because obviously you don't want to see what's inside the hoop and then you click on the second on this pink texture then create another circle inside your first one like this by choosing objects arc then press enter and the wall width 
has to be high this time. It doesn't matter how high, it just has to be on the preview that the circle is closed. Number of sides has to be 10 again, because the first circle also had 10 sides. Alright, like this. Then press OK, and there you have it. But you have to do some adjustment, because the full area doesn't have to be filled. It has to be a bit thinner, just like this. So the breakable is inside the hoop. Alright, now go to your right side, to the toolbox. Go to Move Selected to Entity. Now this um, small little part inside your hoop is an uh, entity. Now choose Class Funk Underscore Breakable because it has to be a breakable entity. Click on Apply. The strength has to be 1. The material type has to be none, because obviously it is nothing. The performance mode has to be no gibs, and you have to give it a name. We call it ring, because it's obviously the ring inside the basket hoop. Now go to flags, and break immediately on physics has to be on, because if you want uh, physics to break it, if something falls down on it, it has to break. Just like this. Alright. This is your first entity. Now choose the entity tool, click somewhere in your level, double click on the entity, and this time uh, under class go in ambient underscore generic, just like this. Click apply, and there you have it, your sound generic, uh, your sound entity. And it should look like this. And double click on it and go under sound name, click on browse and now you have a list of all the sounds in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now go down under T in the alphabet and go to tr.bellimpact. Click on preview and you should hear the sound of a bell which is optimal for our course. Click on OK. I'll give it a name. I'll name it sound, because it's obviously the sound of the basket. Now we have the sound and the breakable, but we have to connect them. So double click once again on your breakable entity, click on outputs, click on add, now choose on break, because when it's broken you want the sound to play. Target's entity name is the sound, and via this input play sound. So now it basically tells you when this entity is broken this one will play. Alright, that's basically it. Now um, if we would run the map like this we could throw one uh, C4 into the hoop and it would play once but you want it to play multiple times, endless times. This is where we need another entity. Go to your entity tool once again, click in your level double click on the entity and this time choose point underscore template. Click apply and it should look like this, just a red box or a purple one. If, you, if it's not chosen it's purple, if you choose it it's red. So double click on it and give it a name. I call it respawn because it respawns the basket hoop so you can do it endless times. Now on the template one go and pick your ring, the basketball ring, because obviously um, you want it to be respawned. Click on apply. And now the most important part, otherwise it wouldn't work, go under flags and pick don't remove template entities, because this is the most important thing, otherwise it won't work. Alright, and now go to your Funk underscore breakable entity once again, go to outputs, click add, on break, then you go to respawn and via this input force respawn and then after a delay, let's say one second delay before it respawns. Alright, now basically if you break the, this entity via physics, let's say if you throw a gun into the hoop, the sound should play and one second after um, the sound played, 
this entity causes this one to respawn and you can do it one, once again. And you can do it as often as you want, just like a normal basketball hoop. And there you have it, your very own basket. Now let's watch it in game. And there you have it, your fully functioning sound based basket. Have fun. Everybody get up, it's time to slam now. We got a real jam going down. Welcome to the Space Jam. Space jam. Here's your